China's number two official is in Germany on his first overseas trip since becoming premier. It comes as Beijing attempts to prevent ties with Europe, plunging to the lows reached with the U.S. Now, the premier, Li Qiang, met with Chancellor Olaf Scholz last night for dinner at the chancellery. Now, for more on all of this, let's bring in our Germany correspondent, Oliver Krug, who's in Berlin. So, Ali, uh, good morning. What exactly is on the schedule today? That's right, Francine, and uh, it's going to be a busy schedule. It begins in about 30 minutes just behind me at the Chancellery. It's going to be sort of full military honors. Premier Leary will arrive. We'll have talks with Schultz at the uh, at the Chancellery. That'll be sort of the more political focus. Then a press conference at 1230, followed by then business talks in the afternoon at the Economy Ministry. You'll have CEOs there. There was already a preliminary discussions with about 12 German CEOs yesterday, you know, mostly industrial sector. And really, this is a restart of bilateral talks that were begun during the Merkel era, but during a very different time. The Schultz government has yet to put out its comprehensive China strategy. Schultz himself has been a bit ambivalent about what this relationship looks like going forward. A lot of uh, talk about de-risking without decoupling. Um, and, you know, Li yesterday spoke to uh, China, to uh, German business leaders saying that actually the two are not incompatible. You can still cooperate while de-risking. Again, this is a fine path to walk and one that is perhaps not as obvious um, as people would like it to be, particularly if you're running a business. Yeah, so on the economic front, how telling is it that China decides to go to Germany and the Premier goes to Germany on his first overseas visit and not elsewhere? That's right. And I think that that sort of highlights the importance of this relationship. And the Chinese foreign ministry really made a big deal about this, saying that Germany, it's no accident that this is his first stop. You know, France will be the second. So read from that uh, what you will. But this is a 300 billion euro relationship in trade last year. Obviously, this is absolutely the Chinese market is the biggest market for Germany's biggest industry, the auto sector. And the question about for businesses and CEOs, how they approach that relationship going forward, many of them are still investing heavily in China, Siemens, BASF, BMW, a lot of the automakers are still going fully in. But then the question is, how do you insulate yourself from possible risk? I thought it was interesting to see the news out from the FT yesterday, AstraZeneca looking at potentially listing its Chinese unit in Hong Kong as part of the insulation. Um, so really, the signals from this meeting will be closely watched by CEOs who are trying to make de determinations about what this relationship looks like in the coming years.